What's up guys, my name is Witty and we are back on Power World. The official 1.5.0 patch just dropped on Steam and of course that means a lot of new content for YouTube but it also means more importantly a lot of improved content in the game of Power World. The first thing we're going to talk about is one of the most important in my opinion. Since nails were actually nerfed as far as a gold coin farm, the best money in the game now is simply making pizzas and selling them to merchants. Now, as you can see, this is going to require a wheat farm, a red berry farm, a tomato farm, and mazarinas for your milk. Now, how you do this is completely up to you, whatever ratios you wanna use. We won't get into the specifics of being extremely efficient or anything, but, they can only be cooked inside of the electric kitchen. And as you can see here, we're going to make a few of them with our Jormantide Ignis and show you guys what 100 of them sells for. Now, of course, our Jormantide made pretty quick work of those pizzas. We can go ahead and call him back and we will go pay a visit to our good friend, the Wandering Merchant. I do have to try and catch this guy before he tries to sleep because we can't have that. And 100 pizzas is going to sell for a total of 29,000 gold coins, which comes out to, obviously, 290 gold coins each. And this only takes a matter of maybe 2-3 to three minutes per 100, so it is a very efficient way to make gold coins overall. And obviously, you could be doing this while you're doing something else, such as farming a bunch of mouths inside of your ranch, or even killing the black marketeer repeatedly. Whatever your preference is. You could even bake berries for extra gold coins on top of everything. Now, another gigantic thing that was actually unintended and is more than likely a bug that I did release a little bit of a PSA video for is the work speed bug that was increased with the monitoring stand as part of this update. As you can see here in the monitoring stand, we have a relax mode, which is now the default. Whether you've had a monitoring stand in the past or not, your default is set to relax which will, as you can see at the bottom, cause your pals to have a low work speed. This is indirectly a gigantic nerf to all of your pals, and in order to fix this, you need to either visit your monitoring stand or place one down for the first time. And if it shows as set to normal, you might want to just click on relax and then click back on normal to be sure that you are set to normal from here on out or whatever other version you were set to. Once you've done that, everything should be back to normal and your pals should be working at their pre-patch speeds as intended. Now, a couple of other things to really quickly go over. The boss capturing at the towers has actually been patched, unless there is some other method that people have discovered, which is good news in my opinion, some others may feel differently. The biggest quality of life part of this patch, in my opinion, actually involves pal condensing. Now, prior to this patch, it would take 64 chickpeas in order to get this one from three stars to four stars, no matter what. However, after this patch, if I was to simply use this four star, it will instantly fill up the entire extract menu. Now this does unfortunately result in some losses, and I think this was an oversight on the devs part. As you can see here, if I was to condense this two star chickpea, which would normally cost a total of 16, 17, including this chickpea itself, it does give us that full 17, but it does ignore the amount of chickpeas that it would cost to get from zero stars to one star, which is of course five. So the actual total we should be getting here is 22 if they were accounting for the previous star levels, but it doesn't seem that they are. So I would not personally recommend using this at tier three and four, just because it doesn't actually save as much space as you would like for the cost. You will end up actually having losses of pals over the course of doing this, but if you don't mind losing a few of them here and there, this is a really great way to save space and you can kind of store your condensed levels on pals that you're not going to use until you ultimately get the one that you will use. So if I had these guys and I wasn't ever going to use them because they have really bad passives, I could save them until I found one like this and then I could use all of the ones that I've saved to condense this one much quicker because it is obviously more ideal passive skills. Now, another really quick but extremely useful update that came with this patch was the ability to turn on and off the hold to toggle interaction. Now, essentially what this is going to mean is instead of having to sit by and hold F when you are working, you can simply tap it once and it will finish for you. 
You can see what that would look like here by just tapping F one time. I'm able to leave my hands free off of my keyboard and mouse, and I will just sit here and seed this plantation until it is fully finished. We no longer have to stick something on top of our F key on PC in order to hold this button down. And this is actually a setting that can be turned on for controller as well. So it will work on console. As you can see, it is just hold to toggle interaction in the controller pad tab. People who have accidentally blown their base up with a rocket launcher or have made some other kind of mistake can rejoice because this patch has also introduced a way for us to restore from backup data from the world select screen. So you no longer have to be tech savvy in any way, and you don't have to dig through your actual files in order to do this. Simply put, you click restore from backup save, you select a time and date that you'd like to roll back to, click on that and click yes. And this will simply just roll your world back to that time and date and you're good to go. Now there were a number of other things that were in this patch notes. I'm not going to go through each and everything, but I do strongly recommend you join the official Power World Discord and check it out for yourself if you haven't already looked at it elsewhere. My goal for this video was essentially just to go over the most important and game-changing things in my opinion, and I hope that you were able to take something away from it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.